hey what's up guys it's your boy the feist back at it with another dragon ball z kakarot video but if it's your first time here definitely be sure to hit it hit hit that subscribe button leave a like leave a comment let me know what you guys think come join us on discord it's the best community ever come follow us on twitch we also stream live there as well as on youtube we don't have youtube monetization guys but if you did want to support the channel financially so we can continue making amazing content definitely be sure to check out that youtube description below there is an etsy link we have coffee mugs and t-shirts all that good stuff there's a patreon link as well but i do want you guys getting something out of it back if you did contribute or donate any uh finances thank you guys so much for the love and support let's get into the content because that's what we're going to be doing so i'm going to be trying to give a really good overview of where all the meteorite locations are so the first thing i want to kind of discuss is the simplest way on how you can get the meteorites and you're gonna have to be pretty far into the game you're gonna have to be up at least up to the boo saga right now um while i'm doing this video guys i am at an end game level so i'm gonna show you what you can actually acquire so if you guys worried about getting certain type of meteorites don't worry about it there is an easy way to actually get some of them if you do go to West City, and I will be chopping this video up to kind of make it a little shorter on some of the locations, you can actually purchase the black and white meteorites as well as like the red and green and some other ones. So if you do have some issues finding some of these meteorites in their locations, you can purchase them. They are going to be a little bit expensive, but you can also use it this way. So I'm going to show you right now. So if we go over here, I think... There he is, my fault, guys. We gotta look for the wrench. We gotta look for the wrench. So, if we go over here, and I'll do a quick uh, overview again. So, there, there's a few places, but like we went to the bottom one, obviously, because we're city. If you go and go to purchase stuff, if you go to the bottom of the list after, you can purchase the red, blue, white, and black meteorites so this is one way on how to purchase meteorites if you were trying to get these explicit ones i'm going to go over some of the other ones next so stay tuned for that all right guys so the next place i'm going to show you where you can get the gray meteorite is in the dollage polynya i might be able to show you a technique if we don't acquire it the first time but essentially the the gist is i'm going to show you where you can go location wise but if for whatever reason um, you're not able to get the gray meteorite on the first time you blow up the uh, meteorites, what you want to do is first you're going to find an NPC that's going to tell you where you can get these meteorites and be like, oh, maybe I could find some meteorite inside here. And before you start blowing up those uh, refined meteors uh, or whatever, those refined mining things, you're going to save your game. And then you're going to blow them up to see if you actually do get some of that gray meteorite loot. So we just landed in Darlish Paulina. We're going to go over here because there's a there's a cave in particular where there's an NPC saying like, oh, hey, you know, I might be able to get some gray meteorite here. So we're going to fly over there right now, guys. You see, wonder if there's some gray meteorite around here. So first thing you do, guys, as soon as you get here is you're going to save. So we're going to save here. Um, I'm gonna because oh wow we're gonna have to save a little higher let's save some of these old files so I'm gonna save it right off the bat and then the first thing I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna try to blow them up so I'm gonna see if we can get lucky and maybe get gray meteorite and if we do okay we did so I'm not gonna reload it but if you didn't for whatever reason you can basically look at that we got two rolls of that all right let's take a look at these what about these those are all, all these are gray wow so this is actually really good loot for us um we'll try to see if we can do it in another one but because this guy's saying that we have it this is a really good location for it guys we're gonna go to the next one and i'll try to see if the loading technique will need to do it in the other ones but this is something that i've done like in the past when i can't get them all right guys so the next place we're going to talk about is where you can get the purple meteorite now the purple meteorite is going to be where the world tournament is uh it's going to be a refined orb location in the north east ish kind of thing i'm gonna i'm gonna show you guys right now there's this area right over here where we can do it so let's let's go there And as you know, guys, this where we're at. You see where that guy's saying, so I can find purple meteor right here. So these NPCs are giving some really good hints on things right here. So if we go over here, 
Now, I'm definitely going to want to save just in case we don't get it. So it's kind of like I mentioned before, guys. I always like to play it safe. So I am going to save it here. I'm going to save it twice, actually, just in case I do that overwrite. So I'm going to save it twice there. Now, we're going to hopefully try to see if we get some purple meteorites on the first go. Blue, pure blue. Purple meteorites. So we got the, the purple meteorites in this location over here. So this, again, guys, I'll show it on the map so you guys can get an idea. It's right over here, right above the world tournament. And it's in this area at the bottom. All right, guys. So the next place is that we want to go to explore is to get orange meteorite. And orange meteorite you can find near the Blake blog area just a hint guys if you were curious on what type of things you can get over here you could always press x to find the index on what you can discover and as you can see here on the list i'll put it a little to the top the first one on the top it's orange meteorite so you can find out the locations of where some of these are and or at least the vicinity and then you can start doing some discovery here but i'm obviously doing this video here to kind of help you help facilitate that so it's a little easier for you for you guys so you guys if you guys appreciate me doing the editing to really get this video out here so it can kind of help you guys on finding these things uh definitely be sure to hit that subscribe come join us on discord all that good stuff and i'll continue doing content let me know what you guys want to see next so we're over here by the forest area, uh, but the area we want to go, guys, is I think, I'm pretty sure, it's, is this area. Uh, I'll, I'll correct it if uh, if it's not, but there should be an NPC saying that, hey, you know, orange meteor, you see here. So I can find orange meteor right, meteor right here, huh? So this is where we're going to go, guys. So we're going to go in this area. I'm so sorry. We're going to deal with a quick fight. Forgive me. We're going to do a big bang attack. More person left. He might die though. He might die before I get to do it. Spirit bomb? Yes! Come on, come on. There you go. Get a little super finish in this video. Why not? <laughs> Alright guys, so back to back to the video. So sorry, I did want to break it up a little bit. But if you go over here in this area, you can get the orange meteorite. Uh, and it's just right in this location. So like I said before, guys, what we're going to do is we are going to save just in case we don't get a good roll on it. Uh, they could have patched it where we don't need to anymore. But I, I, it always used to be random where... Actually, do that. Just in case. I'm just so OCD when it comes to save states, guys. Ever since I played Nintendo growing up. Find silver. All right, cool. I've never felt a there we got. We got an orange meteorite, guys. So this is a really good place to also get to orange meteorite as well. So definitely be on the lookout for that. And uh, and yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so the next place we're going to discuss is how to get pink meteorite. And I was actually able to get pink meteorite here. I'm going to show you really quick. I'm going to probably have to reload it a few times. We'll see. But uh, but if I go here and I shoot this, gold ore, refined gold, refined gold, whatever. Gold ore, refined gold. Yep. But then here's where I got the pink meteorite. Red crystal, red crystal. So now what I'm going to do is, because I didn't get it, I'm going to load it again. Because this can actually show you what I was talking about. Because basically, I did it off recording, and I got a pink meteorite. So we'll just keep doing it until we actually get it. And that will be a good example of how you can get pink meteorite. But it's a really good technique. So now I'm just going to go a little quicker. And we'll see if pink meteorite shows up. Pink meteorite. You see that right there on the list? So this is a good place where you can get pink meteorite, and the place where you get this, guys, is uh, where the Majin Buu Saga is, Nam Village or whatever. I'm sure you could probably do it with some of the other areas, but I just wanted to show you a quick example of that. That is basically how it looks. Uh, there are some other mineral deposits around here. Um, I'll take a look at it before I actually end this video, just to see if there's a much better location where there's an NPC telling us to go check that area. So one second. All right, guys, so I did actually find the place where this uh, NPC telling us that there is some meteorite. So we were over here before, but now over here, this guy is actually telling us there is some uh, meteorite. So we're going to go over here 
Jesus, they keep... Yo, so just a heads up, because this has been happening to me for the past seven minutes, is that every time you're in that area, like, the NPCs can come in back. Like, they keep respawning insanely heavy. So I'm going to show again on the map, because I've been trying to do this section of the video for the past, like, ten minutes, and they keep just coming at us while I'm talking. So <laughs> it's over here. I'm going to save, just in case. So let's go here. I'm going to save twice just to be safe. Making sure this is actually recording before I do it. And if we blow this up, blow this up. There's a pink meteorite, so you can actually get it in this area. And look, oh, we got a secret of success adventuring. That's awesome. And we got another pink meteorite here. So that's actually pretty awesome, guys. So I'll put it again on the map. You see? These people keep appearing. It irks me so much. You see that orange aura? They were somewhere. They were somewhere. All right, but yeah. <laughs> so this is where you can get pink meteorites, guys. All right, guys. So if you wanted to get yellow meteorite, guys, you can go to the Daiho uh, lands, which is over here. And like I said, you could always use the index here by pressing X for me. Square probably on PlayStation uh, 4, I'm sure that if you see here, it says yellow meteorite. I'll put it at the top, it's the four star one there. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna go look for it and I'll show you. Ah, oh, look at that, as soon as you land, fam. As soon as you land, this guy says it, which is really awesome. So we're gonna check right over here. I'm gonna go inside this cave because I don't want them fighting us. But it's over here where the NPC is telling us we can get it. Like I said, always guys, do your save. Just in case you don't have good luck on uh, on getting a meteorite. But what I've noticed is that uh, when it's when it's a place where the NPC says it, it you consistently get it. But you never know. I just do it just in case. <laughs> I can tell this thing got lots of energy. And crystal green, crystal pure green. We did not get it this time, guys. So. What we're gonna do, we're gonna load and then do it again. Let's load this. I'm sorry guys, one second. All right. So let's do it again guys. Let's see if we get luck on this. Come on, blow it up, blow it up. There's the yellow meteorite, guys. So we just got a yellow meteorite. So this is a really good location on getting it as well. And like I said, that reload technique really helps when trying to get these things. So definitely be on the lookout on doing that. All right, guys. So now I'm going to show you how you can get the white meteorite instead of actually buying it. So over here in this area, we're going to save really quick like we do our usual technique. And you're going to see that we can get it. I'm going to also try to find the place where the NPC also says it as well. Yeah. I've never felt a stone this hard before. Okay, nothing so far. Yeah. Whoa, this stone's extra hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. And there is the white meteorite. So basically over hard. here by Capsule like Corporation, wherever you see these... Uh, these mineral deposits, guys, this is where you can get these things. So that's the place where we went to explore. Now we're going to actually try to see these other two areas up top and see which one has the actual person that says, oh, you can get it. So I'm going to actually travel faster by going to Ginger Town. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to browse through these just to make sure. Hopefully we don't deal with a fight. <laughs> ah, there it is. So this is the place for white meteorite, huh? So we're just going to follow this NPC right now. And we're going to go inside here for safety purposes. So this guy says it, it's over here. So let's do a quick save, guys. Bear with me. I'm going to do another save. 
and we are going to see if we can get it. Oh. And we got a white meteorite in this location. So this is the other place where you can get it. So now I'm going to show you where you can get the black meteorite. All right, guys. Now to get the other meteorite, the black meteorite, we're going to actually go to Goku's house. That's the quickest route there. And like I said, if you check the index, it'll show that it says you can get the black meteor right there. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to go northeast, like towards like that, um, that like waterfallish area. And there's going to be an NPC that's going to tell us that that's where. So right now we're facing the wrong direction. We actually are going to go, I believe, here is the exact location. So we're going to do that right now. So I just kind of wanted to show the full guide on how you travel there. We're going to see, this is where I can find black meteorites, sweet. And then we are going to land right here, guys. <laughs> we got a keeper. So let's save real quick. I'm going to save on both. I can't believe we played for 50 hours already. Yeah. This stone's extra hard. Just looking. You gotta break some of those walls, the rocks, and there is a black meteorite right there, guys. Like I said, you could you could get them in all these other locations, but you just have to keep reloading to get them. But the NPC one kind of really gives a hint, like, oh, so this is where you can find it in these uh in these mines or whatever. So that was the black meteorite, guys. All right, guys, so the next place we are going to go is we are in Masaroshi's place, and we are trying to get the blue meteorite, which will say here in the index. There we go, blue meteorite. So I didn't find anyone that kind of hinted at it. I, I just don't recall, but we're going to... We're going to check this one, and really, you just got to keep an eye out for the red, the ones that are shining red. And if they're shining red, then that's a potential of getting a blue meteorite. So we're going to do this really quick. There's a few over here, but the one I care about is the red one, like you said. So, like I said, so if we go here, blow that up. You see how we get a blue meteorite? All these other ones are kind of like... I don't think I've had any luck on getting blue meteorites, but you see that one? We got a blue meteorite, like the red one. And that's essentially the ones you're going to want to keep a lookout for when you're trying to get these. There's another blue meteorite. So when you're looking for those, I'm just going to post the uh, Master Roshi's place. This is what the map would look like. Uh, obviously, we destroyed this area, but, you know... There's these places here, here, here. There was one over here, but it didn't have any red. Uh, but yeah, that's essentially, you know, that the water sound of drowning drives me crazy. But those are essentially where you can potentially get the, um, the blue meteorites. Just look for the ones that are highlighted in red instead of like the yellowish color. All right, guys. So the last place and the last meteorite to get is the green meteorite. And that is in Sacred Land of Corin. Uh, we're gonna go to it right now fam and we're gonna breeze through it I actually love rolling through this place to get a lot of the fruit materials because like the center where Corrin's tower is on the ground There's just so many resources So I just love going here and just picking up so much stuff Like it's one of the things I definitely do enjoy doing just because I like hearing stuff So like I go here and then I just go around and get a bunch of these things, but Let's take a look at where these, uh, where we could get some of these uh, green meteorites. So there's three places I know of that you can get them. I'm gonna check this area right here. No, 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 please, no, I don't want to fight during a video. So the first one is here. So I am gonna save, guys. This routine of saving, you can do it, and you can basically always get the meteorites that you want, or if you wanted to get other things instead, it's a really good technique, so definitely keep it in mind, guys. There we go. There's a green meteorite right there, right off the bat. 
So yeah, guys, those are all the meteorites that you can get. Again, guys, if you really appreciate the content, definitely be sure to hit it, hit, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Come join us on Discord. Be part of this community. Come hang out when we stream live. Oh, look, there's another. So this is the place where you actually do get it, ironically. I just kind of went here, and, uh, and this is where the NPC shows. So just to show again, guys. This is where I went to get the green meteorite. You could obviously go to the other ones and keep doing the reloading technique and it will work. Thank you guys so much for that love and support. I will get this video up ASAP. And if you guys want something else in regards to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, let, let me know in the comments below. I definitely would love to do videos for you guys. I love providing that content and help as much as I can. Thank you guys so much for the support and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. See you guys. Thank you guys so much and I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, if this is your first time here and you're watching from YouTube, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you ever come to Twitch, definitely be sure to hit that follow button. Come join us on Discord. The link is below in the YouTube description. Also, last but not least, I want to say major, major, major shout outs to the sponsors. If you guys also wanted to financially support the stream, definitely be sure to check out that YouTube description below. There is a Patreon link. And if you can't support financially, don't worry, guys. There's other ways you can actually show support. That's getting the word out, sharing the content, letting friends and loved ones know about this uh this channel tell them to come and hang out come join us on discord you will not regret it it's the best community slash family ever it says it right there on the freaking board yo thank you guys so much for hanging out i love you guys so much and i will catch you guys next time let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next what you think about the video and so on i'll catch you guys next time see ya